Aloha and welcome to the Kukuna Wiki Radio Show. This month we are talking about real estate and in studio we have Shireen Davis, Property Manager with Choice Advisors Property Management. Kukuna Wiki is Hawaii's senior resource. We talk to the best local professionals in the state regarding topics such as real estate, senior housing, estate planning, finance, and health so that our Kukuna families can find the best resources in the midst of a life transition. We strive to make sure our seniors are informed and supported every step of the way. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Brandon Lau. And I'm Andrew Leon. Your host for the Kapuna Wiki Radio Show. Our title sponsor for today is Cheney Brooks Choice Advisors, providing you the best real estate information so you can make the most informed decisions. As they like to say, real estate is not a choice. To contact them, call 753-9033. And now we have our Real Estate Tip of the Week, brought to you by Cheney Brooks Choice Advisors. Termites can live in your home undetected for many years before you may notice signs of damage. Some tips to look out for in your home are discolored or drooping drywall, peeling paint that looks like water damage, crumbling or damaged wood, small pin holes, uh, small pinpoint holes in drywall, mud tubes around your home, squeaky floorboards, and wings left around where you may have a light on at night. If you suspect you may have termites and don't know where to begin, it may be a good idea to consult with your trusted real estate agent at Cheney Brooks Choice Advisors. For more information on how to detect termites in your home or how to inspect your property, uh, contact Cheney Brook Choice Advisors at 753-9033. Well, again, in the studio today, we have Shireen Davis, Property Manager with Choice Advisors Property Management. Welcome, Shireen. Oh, thank you. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, and hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're excited you're here, and you know we've been going through different topics in real estate. Uh, initially, we talked, first of all, about the general process of real estate and what it means to buy and sell properties or invest. Mm -hmm. uh, we also talked with, um, who do we talk with <laughs> last week? <laughs> no, no. Who did you talk with last week? We weren't here last week. No, last, last we had we Shereen Davis. Um, mm. Oh, no, we didn't do anything last week. No. That was Gail Lee, which is next week. I'm sorry, Chad. <laughs> Are we re-rolling? You're, you're, that's B-rolling. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so we'll just start off from, uh, I guess, when I intro you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, sure, this is how it works. <laughs> just let it roll. Cause... Benefit of pre-recording. <laughs> okay. Today we'll be speaking with uh, Shireen Davis, property manager with Choice Advisors Property Management. Welcome, Shreen. Welcome. Um, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to my... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's try that one more time. Yeah. Last time. This is getting Two funnier. Two mulligans. I know. Okay. <laughs> In studio today, <laughs> we have Shireen Davis, Property Manager with Choice Advisors <laughs> Property Management. Welcome, Shireen. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes, we're so excited you could join us today. Uh, we are talking about mm -hmm. real estate this month, and last time we had Cheney Brooks Choice Advisors and the team here mm -hmm. discussing the topic, and now we have uh, somebody who's an expert in property management. So tell me, uh, Shireen, uh, how long have you been in property management, and why is it that you like being involved in this industry? I've been in property management since about 2007, so about 10 years, and you know, I liking it to it's like the most important thing where you live and if, and where if you're happy about where you're living mm -hmm. and so whether you own a place or you're leasing um, you're going to be able to choose and select the, the property based on maybe your commute to work or your hobbies or your interests you know the location is very important it's very key and um, I just find that because it is the most important thing and aspect in our life where we live, I enjoy that relationship in helping right. people. And it sounds like it's there's a lot of relationships you have to deal with because not only are you working with the uh, landlord, but you also have the tenant and you have the service providers who get involved with service of the property. So there's definitely a lot of relationships. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, now, have you been doing property management primarily on Oahu? Yes, primarily on Oahu. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so when you started this uh, in Oahu, you said about 10 years ago, um, I mean, there must have been a lot of business. You were helping a lot of people in property management. Has, has anything changed since that, since that time? Well, um, I'm able to um, 
incorporate the staging um, aspect into property management because often the uh, you know the owner they'd like to furnish it they'd right. like to be able to rent it out furnished and so I feel that that experience in staging really crosses over where I'm able to help purchase help the owners purchase uh, practical furniture that shows very well that's going to be long lasting and then it's appealing to the tenants mm -hmm. so uh, I feel that that's more the trend mm -hmm. that um, owners are thinking of you know being able to rent their properties fully furnished or at least have the option right so as far as fully furnished unfurnished uh, it sounds like you help the owners in many different scenarios yes I do what, what do you, if a person does, um, you know, have their own furniture uh, and you're going to assist an owner, uh, what are some things that you help to facilitate this tenant in moving in and making it possible? Well, if the tenant has their own furniture, then the existing furniture has to go into storage. So normally, you know, when you're advertising a property and it's furnished, mm -hmm. that is the understanding because then the uh, owner is going to have to be able to store it and that in, that involves costs mm -hmm. unless they're able to take it back you know to their home where they live which is sometimes the case but often it's a win-win because when you furnish a property you don't want to really crowd you know the unit with all kinds of furniture it's really the basic needs like a living room group and the dining table and then a bedroom group so oftentimes the the tenant is really happy to be able to bring in their special pieces whatever it may be, it could be a special cabinet that they really love or a little side table. And it seems to be a win-win where they're able to bring in some of their furnishings and incorporate it with the uh, furnished apartment. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a lot of tenants usually do have their own things. and They do. You just try to work around that. Yes. Right. There's always a solution. Right. And oftentimes the tenant will be willing to put it in storage. It's pretty amazing. Okay. That a lot of us have storage. Yeah. Um, well, you know, these places. days you have a lot of people who um, have rental property. And speaking of, you know, uh, empty nesters or kupuna, maybe they've accumulated property over the years. And so it's become a means of uh, sustenance because they, they depend on this rental income and they want That's somebody true. to help manage it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, what is it like uh, helping uh, these investors who have? these properties that they then need to have managed? 